glad you're here today because we have an extra special experiment planned. We're going to teach you how to make something sticky and gooey and just a little bit weird. I like to call it oobleck. What's oobleck? It's an awesome kind of goo that's lots of fun to make and fun to play with. And the goo that you and I are going to make today was inspired by a story by the writer and illustrator, Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss once wrote a story called Bartholomew and the Oobleck. It's about a king who gets bored with normal everyday weather, so instead he makes sticky stuff fall from the sky. Now, what's neat about the sticky Oobleck we're going to make today is that it acts like both a solid and a liquid without needing to change temperature, which is really unusual. Most things behave like either a solid or a liquid when they're at room temperature, but not both. So how are solids different from liquids? Well, things that are solid have a definite size and shape. If you touch it or move it or take it from one kind of container into another, it'll stay the same shape as before. But liquids are things that don't have a definite size or shape, like water. If you touch it, it moves. And if you move it from one kind of container into another, it changes its shape to fit the new container. So for example, this toy is a solid. Whether it's standing up or knocked over on its side, it stays the same size and the same shape. And if we try to put it in this glass, it still keeps its shape. It doesn't change because it's a solid. But if we knock over a glass of water, the water spills everywhere, changing its shape. And if we pour it from this glass into this glass of a different shape, it changes its shape to fit because water is a liquid. And while most things behave like either a solid or a liquid, some things like oobleck can act like both. But how? Let's find out. It's time to make oobleck. All you need is a big bowl, a measuring cup, a spoon, some cornstarch, and of course, a grown-up to help you. Set out your bowl, spoon, and your other ingredients in the kitchen or any place where it'll be easy to clean up. All right, so you're first gonna start with your cornstarch. And pour a cup and a half into your bowl. Now measure out a cup of water. If you want your oobleck to be a certain color, you can add a few drops of food coloring to your water. Sweeks and I will be making ours blue. Now you're gonna pour the water slowly into the cornstarch and start stirring. Keep stirring until it starts to thicken and it gets a little hard to the touch. If it looks too runny, add a little bit more cornstarch. Once you're done, it should look like this. Pretty easy, right? Now for the best part, playing. First, swish it around a little bit. Oh, it moves like water. And if you try pouring it in a glass, it would change its shape to fit into the glass. Now, grab some oobleck in your hand and squeeze it really hard. Can you feel that? It should start to feel like a solid in your hand, like a little squishy ball the size of your fist. Now, slowly open your hands over the bowl and let it go. Once you release the goop, it oozes between your fingers like a liquid again, and it slowly loses its solid shape. So sometimes oobleck behaves like a solid, like when you touch it or squeeze it, it becomes hard and takes a definite shape. But sometimes when you let it go, or when it's on its own in the bowl, it behaves like a liquid. So oobleck is different from that toy or just regular water because it can be both a solid and a liquid at room temperature. And that's what makes it so fun. Now it's time to clean up. When you're done playing with your goop, don't throw it in the sink, it might clog the drain. Just toss it in the trash, or better yet, store it in a sealed bag or container to play with later. Squeaks and I are going to keep playing with this batch before we clean up, but we'll see you again soon. Thanks for making oobleck with us, and remember, if you have a question about anything you'd like to learn more about, just let us know by getting help from a grown-up and leaving a comment below, or email us at kidsatthesciceshow.com, and we'll see you later.